In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create a fake background for your YouTube video. A background like this one you're watching at the moment. All you need to do is to make sure that you watch this video from beginning to the end. Join Grow Bit of Family today. Grow your social media platforms and make money online. You're welcome to Grow Better. In this channel, we teach people how to build good social media platform and also how to make money online. If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm Asmilian and I would like you to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so that anytime I post an amazing video like this one you're watching at the moment, you'll be among the first people to watch the video. If one of the things that has been holding you down from creating a YouTube channel or creating videos on YouTube is background, you don't need to worry anymore because I'm here with a solution. I know most of you guys have been waiting for so long because you have been saving up money to get a good space but after watching this video there is no need for you to wait any longer because i'll be teaching you how to create a background for your youtube video that looks 100 percent real you can actually start managing this background till you save up money to get a good space so i'll be taking you guys to the other side of the screen where i'll be showing you step by step on how to do this but before we get to the other side of the screen i would like you to do something for me i would like you to hit the like button and drop a comment even if you don't know what to say you can actually say Thank you, Mouse, for sharing this, and I'll be glad to respond to your comment. So, see you guys on the other side of the screen. So, guys, you're welcome to this side of the screen, right? So, like I said earlier, I'll be using two app right here. I'll be using Canvas and uh, CapCut, you know. So, what I need to do first is that I need to go to uh, Canvas so that I'll be able to generate the background I will be using, right? So, let's enter Cap Canvas. So if you don't have canvas all you need to do is just to, to go to apple store or play store to download right so that's it so let's go when you come to canvas this is how it will display you know if you don't have recent designs or all those things like it might show different things but due to because i've been in this app i've been using it so that's why you see the recent design and all those things so what you need to do is to just come to this search right here when you come to this search then type youtube youtube thumbnail youtube thumbnail so once you tap youtube thumbnail the next thing you need to, you allow it to display right let's allow it to display then the next thing you need to do is that you need to come and click on this uh blank thumbnail right so this white one that has plus in it right just tap on it so once you tap on it, why you, 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 are, you are searching for YouTube thumbnail and why you are using that particular one, right? Is because uh, <clears throat> this is exactly how YouTube videos display. So and if you use if you use exactly this YouTube thumbnail, right, it will balance well when you import your video and uh, it won't need to be cutting off and cropping out some things. So this is just the perfect way to do it, right? So the next thing you need to do is you need to come to this cross right here this pink cross is it purple you just need to come to this cross right here tap on it when you tap on it then you will now come down right here and uh, click on elements right so we are going to generate uh, our background you know we are going to be using ai to generate our background so you just need to click on this generate your own generate your own right here so once you tap on generate your own then you come you come in right here to type in whatever you want right here you can see here the roads uh, try an example come inside it then type whatever you want the ai to generate for you so me i will write vintage home office so on your own you can just write whatever you feel that is okay for you so that it you know, the ai is generating it for me right now he will generate it will generate like up to four different uh, images then you have to choose the one that you want or if you want to use all of them you can actually use all of them all right so let's wait for it to generate you can see it has generated a vintage office home office for me so let, let me allow the last one to load so that i will know if it's better all right so i think the last one is better so i'll just you need to tap on it i don't need to tap on it right once you tap on it it will bring you to here then all you need to do is to come and uh, and zoom it in so that it will fit in inside the 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 thumbnail that you just you entered so as you can see right now it fits in right you can see it's fit in so what we need to do next is for you to download it 
how do you download you just need to come to this download icon right up here and tap on it right so once you tap on it then you allow it to load i know my internet is a little bit slow right so that's why so preparing your design they are preparing my design so all i just need to do is right now is just to come and click on this save image right here save image right here and my image has been saved you know so you can see save to camera roll so right now we need to go to CapCut. you know so we are done with uh, canvas we need to go to CapCut. so you just need to open cap cap cut right so when you open cap cut, you just come and click on new project when you click on new project then you, you now come and uh, select an image right so once you, you click on photo side then you now import the, the here is the image you know here is the image we just generated then you just click on this add right here so once you click on this add then you tap on the image and come at the back end of this image try and draw it to the extent that you want your video understand just draw it you know if your video is longer you can draw it as long as your video is you know if your video is shorter just make sure that it's suiting with the length of your video is very very important so after you've done this then you just need to go back again and come and click on this overlay right here you can see overlay tap on overlay then click on add overlay you know click on add overlay then go instead of here that is in pictures then you go back to videos so that you can see your videos right here so what i need to do now is to import my video. in some cases you might have bad experience so i'm now i'm importing my video in so it's very very simple guys this is simple so as i've imported this video right here you know so i feel it's okay like this so what i need to do is that i need to ma just make sure that this video is selected before you do the next thing just come and scroll on these two and you can see remove bg right here you can see just click on remove bg right then click on this auto remover and you can see it has been removed the background has been removed as you can see it right here let me move it a little bit you see can you see so my background has been removed but there is one thing i will teach you guys this which is very very important you know like my color and the color of this place is not really matching right so i will need to do some magic to make it match so which i will need to now do a kind of color grading it's not fully color grading but just to touch the color to make it look like to make it match better so what you need to do is i need to come to this uh, adjust right here tap on adjust then you come to brightness when you come to brightness you try to just go up a little bit just be looking at it to know if it's like matching with the the the, uh, the background right then come to con contrast then you can see you can put the contrast to 15 i think depending on the color of your own video but this one is nice like 15 is okay for here so whatever you're doing be looking at it on your own to know if it matches you so then we go to saturation saturation here saturation you can see i put it on 10 it's amazing right brilliant i can just bring it back a little bit put it on 10 then ah this is sweet then come to sharpen you can now sharpen it you can sharpen it you can put sharpen to 35 or you put it to 50 depending on what you want but this one is okay on this 35 it's very very clean i love it so you go all straight to highlight come to highlight and reduce highlight a little bit reduce it you can reduce highlight to 10 right shadow you reduce shadow you know you reduce shadow to to 10 10 10 is okay as well as you can see everything is matching clearly you are seeing it is matching right so then come to temp this temp now you can just depending on how the color of your video but this temp i would like to put it on 10 to give me more more vintage look so then uh h e u h h u e then you can just just weigh your video well like as i'm looking at this video i think 15 is okay like it's amazing then you can come to fade then add a little bit fade you know 10 you can put it on 10 is okay ah so then come to vintage right when you come to vintage 
you can uh, uh, you can uh, you can do a little bit you can put it on 10 on 10 put the page on 10 come to green green put green on 10 so very amazing then click ok after i have done this right so i need to reduce the volume of this video so that i will play it for you guys to see right because i don't want the noise to enter there so look at this video we just did right now you can see the way it's looking amazing right let me just tap on it so that you see you can see it's just like i'm sitting right there right so very clean this is how to do it guys all you need to do after you've done this i've done the, the, the color matching making the color to match the background and everything so the next thing you just need to do is to blur the the background a little bit so that it will look blurry all you just need to do is just to come down and uh, look for effects come and look for effects here is effect right here just tap on this effect right here you know then come and click on video effects you can see video effects then go and look for lens see lens right here you can see lens lens right here tap on lens then come and look for blur right so here is blur right here tap on blur so as you can see the blur is too much right all you need to do is to click on adjust then adjust the blur adjust the blur sometimes me i normally put it on on uh, 15 i think 15 is okay or 18 15 is okay let me put it on 15 15 is okay you don't need to to make it look too much you know so you can see it very simple right all you just need to do is to, to draw the blur to the end of the the video again okay. understand so very simple and nice right so that's it this is how to do it guys all you need to do if you want to download what you've just did you just need to come up here you know stand tap on this place and uh, change the resolution to uh, four of two k through 4k then click on this up right here uh this logo right this icon up here tap on it and it will start downloading so guys this is exactly how to create a fake background with your phone it's very simple it's free you don't need to pay for anything it's free so see you guys on the other side of the screen welcome back guys hope you learned something from this video if you found this video very educative i would like you to hit the like button and drop a comment and also if you are new on this channel i will urge you to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so that anytime i post an amazing video you'll be among the first people to see them so thank you guys for watching and remain blessed